everybody. Welcome back to Dance with Mary NYC. I have another terrific episode for you this month, but first don't forget to hit that subscribe button. You're ready to go for your performances, your point shoes are sewn, your hair and makeup is done, your costumes are all ready to go, but you've noticed that your point shoes are slipping off of your heels. I have a really easy fix to stop that slip, so let's get started. Tights are slippery, and perhaps you've even been rehearsing without any tights covering your feet, then all of a sudden you go for the performance and you put your tights on, and you find that your heels are sliding off and it can just make you miserable. This fix is really easy. I always recommend that you do this on an old pair of tights first. Go ahead and get your tights. Version one could be that you just take that convertible area that runs underneath the arch and just slip it off the heel. And then you go ahead and put your shoes on and then you're ready to go because the heel in the inside of the shoe wants to grip with the skin. Okay, if that's not working for you, then go ahead and gather your scissors and you're going to take the very tiniest of snips. You don't have to have a big snip. Tiny, see how small I made that? And then get in there immediately with your clear nail polish or if you're using a cover. It's all right if you get some on your skin, you can always take it off. But go ahead and go right around where you cut. The reason is you don't want it to run, especially with the tights that have a lot of spandex in them. And then go ahead and pull that over your heel. The next step that you can take is going, and again, I always recommend old tights to do it first to practice, but go ahead where your big toe is. And again, you're gonna pull the fabric and take just the very tiniest of snips. See that hole that I made there, very tiniest of snips. And again, get in there with your clear nail polish and don't worry about it. You'll be able to get it off your skin. It won't get stuck, it's okay. And then pull that over your big toe. You do have to wait for the nail polish to dry. Oh, I didn't quite get all of it. So let me just make sure I do a really good example for you. It will change the color on your tights. So if you're concerned about that, you could try not using nail polish. I just recommend using it because the tights will run all the way up and then you spent all that money and ruined a good pair of tights. Okay, so my step three is this. I'm gonna pull just a tiny area about where my fourth and my fifth toe are. And again, I'm just gonna make the tiniest of cuts, the tiniest of cuts, so put another little hole there. And then I'm getting in there again with my nail polish, whatever color you like. And then I'm going to just pull it over this part of my foot so that it looks like I have a little foot thong. So I've got the heel exposed. I've got the big toe exposed. I'm wearing in between toes one and two, a little thong. And then it's going to the outside. That means my foot can fully grip inside of the shoe and I don't have to worry about slipping. I can't tell you what a difference this made for me when I started doing it with my own shoes. And then notice, because you've made such small cuts, it will never show. I know sometimes artistic directors get upset because they're like, no, we really don't want any holes in the back of the tight. I'm telling you, if you do it this small, no one will know but you. you enjoyed that episode I really enjoyed sharing the information with you now don't forget to click if you like something subscribe and leave your comments below share this channel with others and help us get the word out if you would like to leave us a super thanks tip any amount is appreciated and thanks for watching